Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of October 3rd through the 9th and um, this is a general reading so Cancer it will not resonate with every single one of you. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, welcome to my channel. I am Forest for the Trees and I forgot to light a candle. <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, yeah, welcome to my channel, Forest for the Trees. And I appreciate you all being here. If hopefully you'll you'll get some clarity about what you're seeking, or you'll this will make some sense to you or resonate with you. There we go. We have a candle now. Yay! All right. So um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, for your likes, share, subscribes, for all your comments. I really appreciate all all of you. And um, anything you need, Cancer, is in the description below. If you'd like a personal private reading with me, uh, my website's listed. And if you would like to know what decks I'm using, they're listed also. All right. Let us see what we have going on for Cancer for the week of October 3rd through the 9th. Um, there is a full moon on the 6th of October in Libra. So if you hear chewing in the background, that is my dog with a bone. So... Sorry about the noise, but he's being good, so we'll leave it at that. Um, there is, a again, full moon on the 6th of October in Libra. And, you know, it's a, it's a time of balance. It's a time of bringing either yourself or your situation or your, um, your space in, in balance. You know, that, that can mean clear and clutter. It can mean... Um, you know, making amends with somebody if, you, if you're having a... Um, if there's a riff or something in a relationship, maybe making amends or uh, just, that's two there, just, uh, yeah, that's one, you know, bring whatever balance means for you, whatever bringing something in balance means for you. It could be diet and exercise. It could be, you know, bringing yourself bodily into balance. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Interesting card. Ooh, Devil is a card of Capricorn. It is a card of, it could be a card of overindulgence. It could be a card of addictions. It can be a card of um, backsliding. Um, it can be a card of control. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, you know, who are you giving your control to? Who are you letting control you? Who are you, um, who, allow, who are you allowing to pull your strings, so to speak? Who are you relinquishing control to? Is it yourself? Are you out of control? Can you not rein yourself in? Are you letting others control you? Sometimes that's the questions to ask again. And sometimes it could be addiction. Sometimes it could be um, just a, a heads up. This is subconscious. So heads up that, you know, as they say, if, if you're in addiction recovery, you know, we're in it every day, right? We're in it every day. So you have to uh, be in it um, consistently. And that could be that too. You know, the proverbial devil on your shoulder feeling or knowledge or knowing that, you know, it's always there, but you have to control it or it will control you. Right. And it, again, it could be overindulgence. It could be uh, overspending, over, you know, again, overeating, over shopping, over anything like that. So it's the devil. Temptations. Where are your temptations? Are you giving in to them? Mine's buying tarot decks. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure, right? All right. I'll leave that right there. All right, we have the Hermit, Ace of Cups, and the Hanged Man. That's very interesting because the Hermit and the Hanged Man are really a lot of, a lot of the same energy. Um, the Hermit is going within. It could be ha having a lot to do with this Devil card. Going within, gaining enlightenment, seeking um, your... It's almost like seeking your truth, seeking your knowledge finding your knowledge um i hear listen to me not them you know listening to yourself really going within you could have had some confusion lately you could have had some you know ups and downs and you really need to maybe figure yourself out so that could be where you're going inside you're really 
Uh, you could be retreating from people, hence the name. You could be, you know, you, you need to do this alone. You don't need people around you. Um, gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom, really going inside. I see it as doing inner work on yourself so the outward light can shine. You can help other people. You have the Ace of Cups, and that's a card of a new beginning. It's a new uh, emotional start for you. It can be love. There could be a new love coming in for you. You know, cups are all about, you know, romance and feelings. What do you feel? Uh, your emotions can be about relationships. Like obviously, love, happiness, your psychic abilities, your intuitions, your spiritual connection. And that could be, too, with both of these cards, that spiritual connection you could be gaining. You could be seeking. This, is, this, is, this could be your outcome of what you're wanting, is that spiritual connection. Or, again, it could be a love interest coming in. Um, the hangman is a card about seeing something from a new perspective. It can be gaining wisdom. It, it is a card of, um, I have to look at the hangman. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. Let's see. I don't want to tell you wrong. It's card of Pisces. And the hermit is a card of Virgo. Um, yeah. So if that Pis Pisces and Virgo have any significance. Now the cups is a water sign. It is, again, your emotions. It is you, Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, again, new love coming in. A new... Um, a new emotion, not a new emotion, but, but, um, having a full cup, feeling, feeling very blessed can be the outcome of you gaining wisdom, gaining knowledge, the hangman, seeing something from a different perspective, sometimes seeing something from somebody else's point of view, maybe avoiding a fight, maybe going, well, okay. I think this, but let me, you know, look at your point of view or do research on what you're saying and see what you, what, you know, and then see that. I love the little vampire. I just love this card. There's nothing about it I do not like. I love the bat in the tree. I love all of it. <laughs> mm. But gaining a new perspective, gaining a new insight, gaining a new way to look at things. In turn, it can bring this fulfillment, this emotional fulfillment. Um... I, if you're in a relationship, you know, it is that give and take. It is that working together. It's not my way or the highway, right? It is that inner knowledge, that inner wisdom going within. Again, it could be could be that, that those temptation pangs are, are, are nipping at your heels and you really need to go into quiet meditation. You really need to go inward and see what maybe what's triggering it or what's bringing it on. Coming out of this richer for the experience. You might, um, again, seeing something from a different perspective, taking a different angle on something, thinking outside of the box. Again, it could be if there's if this, you know, with this temptation card, it could be, you know, doing something a different way, maybe doing a program a different way or doing, uh, reading a different book or, or seeing somebody else's take on it. But the outcome, you know, you have that beautiful ace card. You have that beautiful ace of cups, beautiful emotions, beautiful new beginnings, new start. It can be like turning a page on this, turning it, and then starting new. I'm no, no way saying that because this card came up that you will backslide if you're recovering or that you're going to... I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that that temptation could be stronger this week. Just a heads up. And that, you know, you might have to go within. You might have to do some inner work uh, to, to get you stronger. And get you past those feelings. And it could, you know, I've, I've not smoked for 28 years. So... I'm at the point where I don't have those feelings anymore, but I used to. I remember them, you know, for probably a good 10 or 15 years. I used to have a dream where I could go in a special room and smoke. <laughs> and it wouldn't hurt me. Isn't that funny? Anyway, I'm not by no means saying that you're going to, you know, 
have issues or anything. I'm just saying that that could be brought up. And the devil can mean a, a bunch of different things to a bunch of different people. Again, you know, but you have these two beautiful cards here about going in, about really reconnecting with yourself to have this beautiful outcome of the Ace of Cups. Whoa, way too many cards. All right, Cancer, October 3rd through the 9th. There we go. We are showing tranquility. There you go. See? That peace that, that comes from this. Being tranquil. Hanging with your boo. You know? Hanging with your friend. Hanging with your familiar. Hanging with uh, whatever makes you comfortable. Tranquility. What, what, is, what makes you tranquil? You have, again, the hermit and the hangman. Both cards about going inward to... Let your outward appearance uh, shine brighter because you're doing that inner work. Tranquility. Beautiful. Beautiful card. You know, I love the moon faces on it. All right. So you will have a tranquil week. That Ace of Cups is there to prove it. And you're in a good frame of mind. You've got this. You are in control of this. Again, you could have had something that shook you a little bit. And, you know, you're right on it. You're right on it. Whatever it is you need to do to, um, to reconnect with yourself and reconnect with your purpose, you're on it. All right, Cancer. If you know any other Cancers this resonates with, please feel free to share. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Good luck to you. And have a beautiful week. Have a safe week. Take care of yourself and each other. And until next week, I will see you later. Bye for now.